you guys. So I am finally getting around to doing a little bit of an updated farmhouse tour. Um, <laughs> the kids call it the farmhouse. It is an old 1940s farmhouse. It was built in 1943. Um, but if you don't know, we bought this house in October of last year and we have been slowly but surely fixing it up and updating things and so um, I've had a lot of requests to do a tour when we're finished with everything but honestly that will probably be in a couple of years so um, we have done a ton of painting and wallpaper removal and stuff like that so I thought I would just show you what we have done so far and kind of the updates that we've done and um, I'm hoping to put in some like before snippets or photos or something kind of throughout this and then also kind of tell you what our plans are as well. Um, it's raining today so I'm not going to be going outside to like show you guys our property but I mean if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat then you probably get the gist of our property anyways. We have two acres. Um, and we have a greenhouse and a garden and all sorts of fun stuff. So I am going to go ahead and show you guys the farmhouse. Okay, so this is the front door that we actually don't use <laughs> because it's kind of in like a weird spot from our driveway. So we don't use it. But that is the actual front door. And then this is just a coat closet. And then it comes into the living room. Brody, say hi. No, you're going to be grumpy. Um, we have this big sectional, and this room used to be eggplant purple, which I will insert some stuff for you guys to see. Um, and then I just have a big rug. There's cash. These tables used to be black, and I chalk painted them. Sissy, you being crazy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, buddy. This table also I painted. This is Brayden's super cute kindergarten picture. And I've just got some baby's breath. And there's the view out of the back of our house. Um, and we have just a nice deck that goes out and then stairs. And then coming around this way, we have our TV. Um, and this actually is an old buffet that we've had in our family for over 90 years. And my grandma gave it to me. It was a super dark wood. Um, and I refinished and distressed that. Along with this dining room table. It was a set that my great great grandparents got for a wedding gift. Um, I recovered the chairs. And um, this actually, I am keeping this chair original, but this is what they looked like, and this is what the seats looked like. Um, I just wanted to keep one chair kind of, you know, in its true form, so I kept that. Um, but I also kept the top of the table original because my grandfather's signature is actually right here in the table, carved in from when he was a kid. So I have redone those. Um, so this is the living room over on this side, really big living room. Um, there used to be a wood stove here when we moved in and we are going to be redoing the floors. So that's why we have not taken out the tile and we're going to be redoing the ceilings because they're popcorn ceiling. And so, um, for now that is just painted white, but it will be gone and the ceilings will be different and the floors are actually going to be. Um, a dark, dark hardwood. Um, so we did paint all of this, Donnie and I did. Um, so these little height chair is here. That table used to be black and I chalk painted that kind of a farmhouse blue um, as well as this hutch. It also was a dark, br uh, it was dark brown and these were gold and I redid all of those, pa chalk painted and distressed this. Um, as well. We've had that table for a while. So that is the dining room. There was actually a gigantic wagon wheel um, chandelier right here and now we have it outside. I'm going to take all the sconces off and we're just going to use it as like decor. But it was just way, too, it was awesome, but it was just way too big for this space. 
So I got this chandelier at Home Depot. It is oil rubbed bronze and wood. I just love it for like a modern farmhouse look. Um, so I told you guys about the table. So off of the living room is our master bedroom. And it was a really, really dark blue. Um, this white wainscoting was here, but this was a super dark blue. And we painted that this kind of seafoam green-ish color. The color is, I believe, Valspar Blue Arrow is what it is. Um, and there's also popcorn ceiling in here. So we will be redoing that and we will be putting new carpet in here. Um, but I painted our headboard white. It was dark brown. But we have two closets in here and then these super awesome, like, deep built-in just cabinets that are super great have not finished <laughs> unpacking everything in here and it's a mess we need to put our tv up there and kind of like reconfigure how we're going to do everything but um this was a dark dark wood with gold fixtures as well that i refinished so that is our room nothing special will be probably be the last room to get completely finished and then this is berkeley's room which used to be map wallpaper on the top and then this was dark wood um, painted everything which I actually just put up a nursery tour not that long ago so this is sissy's room this was a dark wood and I chalk painted that it's been in our family also for about 90 years but this is her super cute little room and then off of the dining room is my LuLaRoe room. If you guys don't know I sell LuLaRoe it is a complete and total disaster right now but it was yellow. It was white and yellow and had some cool, really cool wallpaper in here. So we painted it this teal LuLaRoe color and then gray. Um, and I actually have a video up of the transformation of this room too. But this is where all of my inventory is held. I do my live sales in here. I photograph inventory. Um, and it serves as my office as well. So then coming off the dining room over here is the kitchen, which is super duper outdated, but we have plans to redo the cabinets and the flooring, and I'm gonna have an apron, farmhouse sink, um, and we're gonna paint and do backsplash and all of that new appliances, but this will <laughs> probably be the last project. I would like to have it done soon, so that way then we can do the floors. But um, this is it right now. We have tons and tons of cabinet space. Um, and I love that, but not a ton of counter space. I would really love to knock this wall out right here. Um, so that way it was like a bar or an island and open, open up into here, into the dining room. Because it just really serves no purpose right now and I don't like it. Um, so that would be the plan is to have a big island. Um, with like bar stools and stuff that would be my dream um, so then we have this little like breakfast nook over here so we just kind of use it as like Brayden has a little desk in here the boy of oh, I guess Brayden and Brody they sit here in color the dog food the cat food we have our water dispenser because we're on well water and it's it's safe and filtered and all that but we just like the taste of like fancy water I guess my little vacuum guy Cash's kennel where he sleeps at night um, but eventually this room probably will just be like a continuation of the kitchen yeah. I'd like to knock this archway out because um, we don't need a tiny little room but I'd rather have a bigger kitchen so off the kitchen is the laundry room slash mud room and it actually used to be all wood so it was like wood beadboard even the ceiling um, I will throw in some before pictures there for sure. This is actually the door we use to come in the house. So um, this is where we keep our shoes and Sissy's car seat, car seat is usually sitting here but we have this cute little bench that holds our shoes that we wear most often. Um, and then our washer and dryer and this really cool um, aerial picture of our farmhouse and then just some cute little signs that is crooked keys and all that fun stuff in here so then off the kitchen um, this house actually 
was moved to its current location in 1975. It used to be just down the gravel road from us, um, but they had flooding problems. So this door used to lead down to the basement and now it just um, is kind of a cellar or <laughs> for us a catch-all storage unit right now. But we have all of our paint and like the dog food, cat food, vacuum cleaning stuff, fish tank stuff, ladder, but um, we have these cabinets and then it just goes like a crawl space, but this used to be stairs down and around a basement that is no longer there. And all of the original um, glass doorknobs and skeleton key doorknobs are still on the doors, um, most of the doors anyway, so that is so awesome, that just original like farmhouse charm I love. So then this is just the hallway that goes to the bathroom. And the bathroom actually used to be wallpaper. There was floral wallpaper all over the walls. Like every single wall in here was floral wallpaper. This was white. Um, the counter top was white and it had really bad grout. Um, so I actually painted the vanity and I painted the old gold fixtures that were on there. We replaced all of the hardware um, and then I painted the tile with um, a epoxy uh, oil-based paint. Um, and we're going to be redoing the floors in here with tile and I just need to paint these cabinets to match these now. Um, definitely a nice little update. There was an old gold light in there, light fixture too, that um, we replaced with that one. So then going upstairs to, we are going to be putting in new carpet here. This was all wallpaper um, and we painted it. This, and this actually, the hallway was green and we painted that too, this perfect grayish color. Sissy's following me. Hi! Uh, it's called Perfect Grage, and it's by Sherwin-Williams. But going upstairs, this is the boys' man cave, I like to call it. But when you get to the top of the stairs, you can see we started stripping wallpaper up here. But this is the floral wallpaper that we have. So this room, right when you come up the top of the stairs, is the toy room. They've got their TV, their fish tank, and as you can see all their toys and a little desk and then in the hallway they have these awesome built-ins huge built-in drawers their air hockey table and then back here is their bedroom so Braden's bed Brody's bed some dresser they have an awesome view out their window so gorgeous and then they have this big walk-in closet with these giant shelves, obviously full of stuff, boxes that we have yet to unpack, and clothes. So that is it, you guys. That is the farmhouse. We still have so many projects to do and so many ideas and things floating in our minds that we would like to do. But for now, that is everything that we have updated and it has been a lot of work and I've done most of it actually because Donnie has gone so much. My stepdad has helped me out a little bit too. Um, but we have to run to go get Brayden from school now and it's pouring down rain. But you guys got to see our farmhouse finally. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Say bye bye. Snotty nose cold baby. <laughs>